Hello there, I'm Ryan Chan, CEO and founder of Upkeep. In today's video, we'll be delving into the fascinating world of cooling towers. We'll explore how they work, the different types, and the crucial role of regular maintenance. Not just that, we'll also share some insider tips on how to maximize your cooling tower's efficiency, saving you time, energy, and money. So stick around because we've got some cool stuff to show you. Now let's get started. Let's talk about cooling towers. These handy structures work by moving heat between air and water to create a heat exchange. There are two types, direct coolers and indirect coolers. Direct coolers use evaporation to remove heat. The equipment sprays the heating component over the cooler before air is blown through the area. The heat rises and evaporates into the outside air while the remaining water circulates back to the chiller. On the other hand, indirect coolers move the heated and cooled air through tubes within the system where heat is released. In this system, the water and air circulating do not contact the outside atmosphere. In both systems, either propeller or squirrel cage fans are used to move the air through the system. Now let's dive into the world of cooling tower maintenance. It's crucial to ensure that circulating water is clean to prevent bacteria growth, which can lead to serious health problems. Technicians need to clean, inspect, lubricate, and adjust all of the motors, fans, and pumps within the cooling tower regularly. Any maintenance issue that reduces the system's efficiency can cost energy and money. But did you know that blowdown losses represent the greatest area of loss for cooling towers? Maintenance technicians can maximize cycles of concentration, monitor flow meters, or use chemical treatments to reduce these losses. Here's a tip. Implement a computerized maintenance management system to help manage and schedule preventive maintenance tasks. This will keep your cooling tower operating at peak performance, saving you time, energy, and money. Preventive maintenance tasks on cooling towers should be conducted daily, weekly, semi-annually, or annually, depending on the task. Every day, technicians should perform an overall visual inspection when they sequence coolers and ensure that water is flowing appropriately. On a weekly basis, check and adjust suction screens, belts, and pulleys. Also, test water quality weekly. It's important to check for temperature issues and excessive vibration in motors, fans, and pumps. However, you may want to invest in sensor technology, which can monitor temperature and vibration around the clock. If temperature and vibration fall out of range, the machines send an alert to a central computer system. You can then address these discrepancies immediately. Every month, address lubrication, wear, alignment, and scale buildup, and at least once a year, inspect bearings and thoroughly clean all parts of the cooling tower. By following these guidelines, you can ensure your cooling towers are running efficiently and safely, saving your company time, energy, and money. Thank you for watching this video on cooling towers and their maintenance. We've explored how they work, the different types, and the crucial role of regular maintenance. Remember, Implementing a computerized maintenance management system can help manage and schedule preventive maintenance tasks, saving your company time, energy, and money. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. For more information, visit our website at upkeep.com.